tributes tonight in Westchester County in the place where a kindergartner and his mother were struck by a school bus and killed. It happened this morning in Mamaroneck as kids were arriving for end of the school year festivities. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim speaking with a man who saw the entire tragedy unfold. The saddest part was seeing his lunchbox, his school bag open, and um, all the pencils out, and the kid just wanted to have a day at school, and then it was his last day. There are some things in life you wish you could unsee. For Nick Zamora, it's a six-year-old boy struck and killed by a school bus right in front of his home. And the kid was just on the ground, and uh, I just told my mom, I was like, wow, like, I was like, mom, like, I, I started freaking out. And my mom kept t telling me to calm down. It happened at the corner of Mamaroneck Avenue and New Street in Mamaroneck around 8.20 this morning. That boy, a kindergartner, and his 43-year-old mother were both struck and killed by this school bus. It's still unclear why the bus driver did not yield to pedestrians, but parents say for years they've been asking for a crossing guard here. I knew in my heart that this something tragedy was going to happen at some point. There was too many little children and people walking every single morning, and traffic was completely not under control. So my heart was very heavy and sad today. Witnesses say the boy's mother yelled for the bus to stop as they crossed at the intersection. It is just a half a block from Ameronek Avenue Elementary School, the boys' school, and where the bus was headed. Investigators say the school bus had the green light as it was making a turn while pedestrians had the walk sign. The driver of the school bus is currently cooperating with investigators and it appears at this time that it was a tragic accident. Students and an aide were on the bus. Allison Davis is a teacher at a school nearby who has students in her class who witnessed it as well, left shaken by the horror. One of my daughter's a kindergartner at um, Central and he's in the third grade and I was crying. <laughs> you know, I was crying this morning in his afternoon. Really hard. Our plan tomorrow morning is to open with uh, fully staffed with providers who can support students. Investigators did draw a blood sample as is standard practice from the 68 year old bus driver from Royal Coach Lines. Again, he is fully cooperating with the investigation. No charges pending at this time.